Hi, I'm Sophia and welcome to Kitchen Caravan. Today we are making some simple healthy dishes for our fathers, brothers, friends, lovers, etc. in honor of Father's Day. So I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple raw dessert. It's called an avocado and chocolate tambor, which is Spanish for drum. And it's so simple so there's no excuse not to make it. And this is for men to make or for women to make for their men. And we're going to have avocado, walnuts, raw chocolate, some dark powdered chocolate if you have it on hand, and some sugar and agave syrup. So I'm going to toast these walnuts in a dry skillet. And I think that this is one of the healthiest desserts you can eat besides fresh fruit because it's full of antioxidants, omega-3s, healthy sugars, healthy fats. So guys, this is a perfect dessert to make. And it's raw, so, you know, less time in the kitchen. So you want to just dry toast these walnuts. So I'm going to cut my avocado in half. Now, avocados are full of very easily digestive fat. It's a nice dessert, fattening yet healthy. Spoon the avocado into the bowl. And you just want to put the knife on the bone. And then you twist it around to release it. And I know a lot of us only know avocado and guacamole are paired with um, salty dishes. But in places like Brazil, they eat it as um, the sweet fruit that it is with a little bit of sugar. So this sort of tunes into that. And you just want to fork mash it up. And avocados also have potassium in them, which is good for your muscles, but it's also good for maintaining healthy pH balance. So now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of the chocolate and sweeten it up with the sugar. Now if you don't have baking chocolate on hand, don't worry about it. Don't go out and buy it for this recipe. It's only a teaspoon. And then we're going to put a little bit of agave nectar. Agave nectar is a friend of chocolate and it's a uh, a cooling sweetener which is great for the summer. Put a teaspoon of sugar and continue mashing. And it is going to turn sort of a chocolatey brown color. I know a lot of you out here might be a little bit skeptical at this point because of the chocolate and avocado going on here but I think it is so good. And then I'm going to stir in the cacao nuts and the walnuts. And I wanted to say a little bit about the cacao nuts because a lot of us are so accustomed to eating really sweet chocolate. But chocolate is actually made from these cacao nuts or nibs, cocoa beans. And these are the raw form of chocolate. And they are chocolate in its pure form. They are the highest source of magnesium besides seaweed of any other food. I call them happy nuts because they tend to put me in a good mood when I eat them. And you can just sort of break them up and like leave some whole. The Aztec Emperor Montezuma had like millions of these. They were actually used as money in the Aztec Empire. And so when the Spaniards brought them back to the to Spain, they called them black gold. But um, you know, things were valued in terms of how many uh, cacao nuts they were worth. So now I'm going to add in the walnuts and I want to break them up. And now I'm going to present it. You might be a little bit worried because it looks like sort of a mush, but I'm going to dust it with some cocoa powder at the end. And I think that guys would definitely impress their girlfriends if they made this for them, just because of the nice little presentation that it has. So I'm just going to dust some cocoa powder on top of here. And then I also like to serve it with some banana. If you have bananas on hand, they also, bananas and chocolate, as we know, are also good friends. They love each other. And sort of cut some fun pieces here. And then finally, a little cacao nut on top, just to hint at what's in store for whoever wants to eat this. So here is the chocolate avocado tambor the little drum of avocado, raw chocolate, and healthy walnuts. So now it's your turn to try and cook this at home and keep on cooking with Kitchen Caravan.